my channel. Um, today, this video is the beginning of a new series, How to Get Rich in Oral High. So I'm going to start with making a new account. And the end goal for this is to have level 100 and 100,000 diamonds by the end of the month. So the main videos I'm going to be posting are these types of videos. Not all of them will have voiceovers, um, but we'll see. Finally, Roblox fixed their capture. Um, I struggled with it a lot, I just started picking random ones. Um, I mean. Now I'm gonna s change my avatar. I'm gonna do the, like, the free shirt kind of hack with the jean shorts and the colored torso. I mean, you can copy the avatar really, <laughs> don't mind, I don't care to be honest. Now I'm gonna go to my private server, and the main focus of today's video is diamond farming, not leveling up, that will be tomorrow, or next video, not exactly tomorrow, I can't promise that. Okay, I'm just editing my avatar, just making it look cute. Now I'm going to go to battle at the lower. Oops, no, no, no. <laughs> now I'm going to my apartment to get my daily reward, and I'm going to go to sleep but my sleep bar is already at 100 um, so now I'm going to battle Isle Royale and I'm going to go collect all the diamonds um, I usually only farm here on my main account so I really recommend it there's a lot of diamonds that are worth a ton um, it can be pretty slow but if you have enough time on your hands I recommend it um, I also recommend listening to music while you're farming because it can get pretty boring sometimes. Um, it definitely pays off in the end, but I can agree that it is pretty boring. I have a few Spotify playlists, so if you want, you can go follow me on Spotify. My username there is a power of F32, just like my Roblox username. It can be pretty slow walking around in this realm, but um, you can't use faster fly speed, but you can sprint, like, you can't click sprint, but automatically you sprint, sprint. so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, walking is a lot faster than flying, so that's why I'm walking up here. You do have to wait for the diamonds to spawn so what I usually do is I just make an outfit um, while I'm waiting for the diamonds to spawn and then I go collect them all and then I repeat that cycle over and over again for about an hour or so and in the end you can end up with maybe a thousand diamonds an hour which is actually not that bad considering after about half an hour you can go back to your apartment seat get an extra 300 diamonds um, in a day you can make maybe 20 to 50,000 diamonds depending on how much time you spend. Um, I think the most I've made is 50,000 in a day. And it took a lot of time, but it was well worth it in the end. One thing that I do recommend is making an alt account and leveling that up. Um, you have a higher chance of getting your dream item or just getting richer. And if you have anything in that alt account, 
that you want to give to your main account, I guess you could do that. I don't know if you can get banned for that, I'm not quite sure. But I'm pretty sure you can since you own the account and you work for it. As long as you don't exploit anything and I'm pretty sure it's allowed if you work for the items. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. But again, I haven't given anything to my main account because he's a level 1 on this account. And I'm not quite sure about the rules, so um, don't take it from me. Of course there are other realms that you can farm in, not only Battle or Royale, it's just the one that I really recommend and the one that I love the most because of all the diamonds in it. Um, yeah. It can be hard to find diamonds in this realm, but it's worth it in the end, of course. I mean, it takes a while for them to spawn in, but then they're pretty much everywhere. And um, I'm just going to point out that you do need a private server for this. You can't really do it in a public server because of all of the rounds. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to Classic Campus, and I don't know why I went to Classic Campus. I guess I was giving my future self time to speak. <laughs> I think I just went there for the badge. Um, for some reason, it's really the We got some 2020 badge as well. I think I was just explaining how the basic concept of leveling up, which I recommend for Classic for leveling the quickest, but um, if you want to level up and farm at the same time, your campus is the best for that. Now I am going to new campus just to farm the diamonds. I don't like to spend a lot of time here. Usually, like my old farming routine, I would spend a lot of time here, but I find it that it takes a lot of time for the diamonds to spawn back in. Um, so, and there's less diamonds as well, but they can be worth a lot, especially in places like the art classroom, PE, um, if you fly out all the way to those different blocks in the background. In this tent, there's one worth 20 without multipliers. Um, no, I don't own multipliers, so it's actually a lot more difficult for me to get diamonds. Uh, now I'm going to try to try a picture and move on. And there's so much satisfaction from flying around and collecting the diamonds here. It's just there's so many that you just get to glide through them. <laughs> I wasn't quite used to the flight speed here because it's a lot quicker and I spent a lot of time in battle all around. So. <laughs> There are diamonds in the drums, I just didn't take time to go collect them. Um, there are a lot of diamonds that are worth a lot, of course, behind the buildings and in the money pool, which is where I actually went to. Also, if you can't tell, I got a new microphone. Um, so I have to talk a lot louder, I'm not quite used to it just yet. Um, my other one was the opposite, I had to talk pretty quiet. Now, the last place that I like to go to is Earth, and this is my old farming routine as well. I would come around and I'll make an outfit while I wait for the diamonds to spawn, and then collect them all up. Um, it isn't pretty, like, it's not that time consuming. The flight speed is alright. You can use the faster flight game pass. Um, so, although it's, it's alright, and the diamonds are worth a lot here. So, it is worth your time. Especially if you don't have a lot of time in your life and you want to farm, you can go to that. It's one of the best places to farm. It's a good thing. And it takes about half an hour. It's worth it. so much for watching today's video and episode 2 will be out very soon. I'll see you all next time.